Hi everyone, it's me for my 29 week update for my um, fifth baby. Um, it's been a really busy week this week. I have finally finished cleaning my workshop. I'm so excited about that. I was able to finish it on the Wednesday. I think it was the Wednesday that we finished or Thursday, I don't even remember. All I know is that Thursday actually was a really busy day because my mom wanted to take all the grandchildren to um, a local amusement park for the day. So I didn't have time to do uh, stuff really. I did some stuff in the morning, I had the morning. So I think I, I was still cleaning the workshop that morning. Mostly that at that point, most of the work had been done. It was more just actual cleaning part needed to be finished but it's clean in there again I can see the floor <laughs> I'm so excited about being able to see the floor in there and my countertops like my I can actually work in there again so Friday I spent just about all day in and out of there working on making what I wanted to have for the wagon for um, the uh, the local parade because uh, the kids wanted to be in the bike parade portion of the parade again this year. So my son went as Kylo Ren and my daughter, she's like, I'm not doing Star Wars. I don't want anything to do with Star Wars. So she went as a butterfly and we decorated her bike with flowers and stuff. And my two youngest daughters, they went as Rey and BB-8. I was so pumped about that because I was able to, Friday morning, I made both of their costumes. Well what I had to make of their costumes. BB-8, it was very simple. I just made this little orange circle piece. I tried doing an iron on, and I have to show you guys this too, because this is for baby. Um, I had a single white onesie, and I wanna actually see if I can maybe draw the, the adjoining lines. I had some of these iron on papers. Unfortunately, they don't like, there's certain parts of them, it's like if a little bit of your finger grease or anything gets on it, it does not want to adhere to the fabric as well. So you can see that there's some sections here where it didn't quite adhere. This part was hard because it was on a seam, so it really was not, it really was not doing anything there. But I figured, I don't care, I'm making a little BB-8 thing, because I printed out the circles and they were far too small to put on the shirt for my two-year-old. So instead I just made a little orange circle for her and then we had a, a BB-8 helmet and I had from when we went to Disney World, my four-year-old wanted to be Nemo. So I had painted an orange shirt with a stripe across it and I made a little orange and white and black tutu. So we used the orange, white and black tutu as part of the, the BB-8 costume. It was absolutely adorable. And um, my four-year-old wanted to be Ray, so that was very simple. I was able to whip that one in uh, like 30 minutes or so. It was very, very quick. But yes, yeah, so I made the costumes, and then throughout the Friday, we actually had a um, some company over, which was a nice break. But I managed to make a cardboard Millennium Falcon <laughs> to place onto the wagon so that the kids, the youngest two, I would pull them behind me. And I had made myself a dress earlier with a men's extra large t-shirt. I turned it into a tube dress. So it, it was a little weird. And I wore it up uh, on my belly and I had a shirt underneath instead, instead of it being a dress because it didn't work properly otherwise. But it was um, uh, the, like the, a New Hope poster type look on there. I'm like, I would have really liked to have a t-shirt that said, um, that's no moon. <laughs> that would have been good. But uh, I'm, I've also been wanting to get one that has nothing to do with Star Wars, uh, but one that says don't eat watermelon seeds because it literally looks like I got this watermelon tucked under my shirt everywhere I go. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a very busy week. That was Saturday. We went to the fair and the local the local fair and the kids had an absolute blast it was so hot i could i was like okay shade where's the shade i'm not doing anything i'm just gonna sit in the shade and oh you're over there somewhere okay good <laughs> just stay where i can see you um but yeah i was oh i was so done we actually came home 
partway in between so that we could have naps and stuff because I was just exhausted. And um, even like just going back and forth, getting the bikes there and the wagon and all the stuff, we had to take two vehicles because um, the van fits the kids. <laughs> it doesn't fit bikes and stuff to go along with. So yeah, it's been a really busy week. Um, as far as pregnancy goes, I'm... Um, my, my moods have been up and down quite a lot lately. Um, I mean, I don't know, that kind of comes and goes throughout my pregnancy as is. I have had that with all of them. I have not yet hit any panicking stages yet. I've not really been thinking about birth a whole lot because frankly, I don't want to think about it. You know, I've done this four times already. It's it's uh, it's a lot of work, so it's hard. I don't really want to think about it too much yet. Um, I have been really wanting to do some more organizing of the baby's things. I have the cradle here. I'll have to show a video of that later, what I've got set up for baby. Although I think I want to wait until it's a little more set up. Right now it's not very. I have a, a shelf right above the cradle area that is made to be able to put hangers and stuff. Um, and then I have this chest of drawers here for the baby clothes. And then I've made this. So, I mean, I'm not really buying anything for him because I have a lot of clothes. And I've actually been given a lot of stuff from friends, which is really, really nice. I don't need to buy anything really for the baby because I still have my car seat, which we bought new with my two-year-old because the one we had prior to that, it had been through three kids and there was an expiration date and it was past that already. So we bought a new car seat when my two and a half year old was, well, before she was born. Um, and I have like, I actually have a swing. I never, I didn't buy the swing, I had it given to me. I've been very blessed in that I've had a lot of the big ticket items given to me. I usually, I don't tend to want to buy a lot of that stuff myself. Um, mostly because I don't know if I need it. And a lot of it, it just, baby stuff takes up a lot of space. So I don't always want to buy too much because I know it's going to take a lot of space and I don't, I'm a very minimalistic person in general. <laughs> I had, I was doing some collecting of stuff for a while and um, I put it all in boxes and put it away after a while because I just couldn't handle the amount of stuff. I would like to actually, if I can get a system going where I can put the collections out where they look nice and they don't look like clutter, then I'm good. But there's another part of me that's just like, oh, just get rid of it. <laughs> just get rid of it all. I'm in, I'm very much in purge mode and stuff. Um, renovation mode when I'm pregnant. I get that a lot. My dad even last time I was chatting with him, he says to me, you do realize that whenever you're pregnant, you're like doing all these big projects all the time. Like, is that normal? Like, yeah, yeah, it's normal. <laughs> Maybe it's why I'm pregnant so many times. I don't know. Anyways, I gotta show you um, another thing. I was talking about my last week, the, uh, the whole maternity pregnancy uh, belly belt and I got mine from my sister so this it's an older one it was given to me once again by somebody else so this is the belt it's just like this it's got velcro um, so it's got the velcro piece and it actually came with an extender which is kind of nice if if I need a little extra space so far I'm, I've been uh, finding it interesting that I haven't needed the extender yet um, but yeah on this part it's got the extra support with the with the um, the elastic there and it's it's actually it's worked really well I've worn it a lot this week I don't like to wear it um, if we're going to town or anything I did for the for the parade and for the fair just because I knew we were going to be on I was gonna be on my feet a lot but I was wearing it while working in the workshop. I got back on Thursday, so um, making the the cardboard um, stuff for the for the fair. So I wore it then. I don't know if I even. I'm not sure if you can even see it. Just how it 
because I can't see my so this is this is the belt it's got that this is what goes on your tummy like it goes goes on like that and I'll show you my tummy right away and then I'll show you how it how it goes on um, so this is my 29 week belly it's uh, I'm, I'm feeling really big <laughs> But this is how this thing goes on. So it's just this. It goes on the bottom of the belly underneath. I don't know if you can see. And then you just kind of make sure it's on the hip. Bring it across and make sure it's on the lower hip. Like the hip bone is up here. So it needs to be like kind of level with the hip bone. A little lower if you can. And that helps to um, support support the the belly and and it helps the back I noticed it helped a lot with my back because I've been having again I've been having a lot of back pain and I find that once I get up and I get moving it's better my back pain is not as bad at all if I lean back against stuff at all it increases my back pain and then I find that I have a hard time my hips begin to hurt a little bit but leaning forward so when I sit quite often I'm sitting upright leaning forward a bit which is probably good because it's better for your posture um, they say that actually is best to be leaning forward more in especially later pregnancy because it helps to um, it helps move the baby into position when you want the baby in position you want the baby's back to the front of your belly so the baby is facing your back and the best way of doing that because the baby's head and back are heavier you want to be leaning forward more. If you're leaning back a lot more, then the baby will be wanting to face sunny side up and labor will be longer. Quite often the baby will turn in labor. Um, I know I had that with my last one. I could feel that she was turning in labor. and But with her, I also know that I did sit a lot and I, and I tended to, to slouch and to lounge a lot more. So now when we watch movies and stuff, I like to use my ball and I'll sit on my ball because you automatically, while sitting on a ball, want to move into the right position for sitting. That's better for the baby and for um, getting everything into position for birth, too. So, my back, I have actually been very lucky. I haven't had much in terms of heartburn at all. Um, I think that because I've been eating better than I have in the past, um, healthier foods and such, I think that's been helping a lot. I have not been getting the massive heartburn that I usually get with all my pregnancies. I've had a little bit here and there, but it's very minimal. Like it's not much different than a normal day for me, you know, when I've eaten too many chips or whatever. So um, that's been really, really good. I've been very tired. I've not been sleeping well. I know I've said that previous weeks. I just can't believe how much earlier that's starting already. And it's not that I have to get up to go to the bathroom. I don't. I I, I don't get up to go to the bathroom during the night, which is really nice. Um, that will come. I know in the last month or so, I usually tend to run out of space. <laughs> but yeah, right now it's been... Um, everything has just kind of been trucking along. It's it's tiring, it's hot, it's it's heavy, <laughs> belly's heavy, I've been getting a lot of Braxton's, um, yeah, otherwise though, it's, it's been good, I, um, I've been told I do pregnancy well, so it does seem to be that way, <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to, I think it's, is it next week, yeah, Next week I've got another doctor's appointment with my doctor, uh, my family doctor, and it's not until September that I actually am going to be able to have an appointment with my delivery doctor. But I never really have any concerns or anything, so I'm not I'm not overly um, upset by it. But I, I do look forward to being able to actually have an appointment with my delivery doctor again because. I only ever see him when I'm pregnant anyway, and uh, he's delivered three of my babies already, so um, this will be the first time he delivers a boy from me. <laughs> he's got, he's done all my girls. My family doctor delivered uh, my son when uh, I had him, and I'm hoping this will go a lot more like it did with my son, because his 
birth was, I didn't even have to push. Like, it was just like, woo, out he comes. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that this, I'm really, really hoping that this birth will be smooth sailing. <laughs> Pregnancy smooth sailing. Um, I, I, I don't know, birth, birth terrifies me. <laughs> you know, you'd think, yeah, you'd think, oh, you have... You've had how many kids? Shouldn't be that hard. Nope, it, it's terrifying. Um, I haven't been too terribly terrified. Put those two words together in a sentence um, this time around yet. But once again, like I said, I haven't really been thinking about it much. Um, trying not to think about it much. Just kind of going day by day. Um, and that's been working out for me. Anyways, um... Oh, that's it for me. I don't really know what else to talk about. I really need to start writing down my my thoughts before I sit down. I just wanted to show you the belly band and the little shirt that I made and um, talk a little bit about um, how it, the band helps the back because it really does. If you're having back issues and you can get a hold of a band to, to help support your, your belly and your spine kind of all at the same time, it, it really does make a difference. They're not comfortable to wear, um, but especially in this heat, but they're still, they're, they're great. They, they work for the back so much. They do so much. I'm, I'm very, very thankful to have it this time around. Um, anyways, um, we'll, we'll talk to you all next week and, uh, hope you have a blessed week.